What is up guys, Carl here. Today we're having a look at the block breeder hose adapter from 034 Motorsports. This is a CNC aluminium part which replaces your, your factory breeder hose pipe which comes from the block up to your PCV valve and T-fitting which are usually prone to, uh, to fail, crack, since the plastic seems, it doesn't seem to handle the heat but usually, you know, it's been there for 10-15 years and it's time to replace it anyways. So instead of buying a new one, this is my old part, as you can see, if you've seen my previous video. It's cracked up there, I tried to repair it, but it didn't hold. It's also cracked down here, and if we compare them side to side, if you see that, that little edge there, it's missing about almost a centimeter of material down. It's also supposed to be a metal fitting in here along with uh, the plastic just to keep it more solid. So this is pretty crap and if you get a OEM part this usually costs around the same as this one. And this one comes with a, uh, a three quarter I think, three quarter um, inch NPT fitting so you can get a adapter for that which I've gotten but there's also a breeder adapter which comes with a one inch to a hose adapter, so you can put a hose directly on this. I'll be using AN fittings in the future, so I've gone with the thread so I can put an adapter and then whatever 90 degree fitting or swivel fitting, whatever I want to do. So let's pop open the hood and you'll see what I'm talking about. So this will work on your 1.8 liter, this is a Audi from 2003 and uh, it's a BFB motor code. So um, 1.8 liter turbo engines from around 2000 to uh, 2005, this you work on. So this little piece comes with a, uh, a rubber seal, which uh, as you saw on the old one, comes with it as well. I've actually glued this just to keep it in place so I can show you. And if you haven't seen my previous video, this is the 034 Motorsports T-fitting and in there is the aluminium PCV valve as well, which is a great replacement for your your OEM parts, which usually need to change at the same time as you need to change all your vacuum hoses and your your hose here, because they usually gunk up and so on. These are the AN fittings. So this is a it's a black one, so you can't really see, but it's a um, three quarter MPT fitting to a AN12. So I can put this let's see correct way around. I can put it in here, see if I can skillfully twist it with one hand. And of course you want to use some uh, thread sealant in between here to keep it safe and secure. So I just thread it down like that for now so I can show you. And uh, this is a AM12, so I can put this one on top of it. Of course, this is going to be quite a bit longer than the 90 degree bend, um, but it's just a temporary fix. And this one goes to a 19 or 20 millimeter, 19 or 12 minute millimeter hose fitting, so I can put a, um, a hose on there until I get the actual AM12 line. So what you want to do is remove your your um, coolant reservoir, the screw in here. Some models, there are screws up here, up here. These ones have a little fitting in there. So you just pop those open, remove it. Old models, you also might have to remove the plug here for, for the sensor, but in this case, you didn't have to. So I'm gonna put some lighting. There you can see the actual hole into the block. Up here is your top cover. And there's your PRV and goes down and connects down here where the T fitting is supposed to be and then the line comes up and up to this little fitting. So I'm gonna have to remove that. So you can see it's pretty crammed but if you remove that T fitting you should be able to at least get your hand in here to move as you can see. Um, some people might tell you to remove the, the fuel rail and the intake manifold but that's just a piece of work to 
to change these parts which isn't actually necessary. If you want to do some custom fitting you might have to do it but I think you could get away with just, just removing the T fitting and it's supposed to be good. So the idea here is you want to remove the, the seal here because in case I can show you if I try to hold it right there if I try to put it in there's a little there's a little edge here on the actual where's the best way to shoot this I think it's still down here um, there's a little edge here on the inside which is supposed to hold that seal so if I try to put it in it's not gonna go down all the way if you remove it you also know that there's a clip down here which needs to be removed which holds it down so if you don't remove that seal you can't really get in there and there we have some focus so if I pull this out again and put the seal to the side of course you want to put that in maybe put some oil to keep it to keep it lubricated but if you just put it in there you can see it seats down and you're gonna put that little clip around it and it'll be safe and secure so from here you can put that that T fitting or, or a 90 degree fitting to go directly to your to your PCB valve but of course you can also put a pipe if you get the the one with a pipe fitting straight on it and it's good quality and of course a good replacement parts so check out the um, um, 034 Motorsports breeder block hose adapter and your T fitting and PCV valve. It's, it's just a good idea to replace them all at the same time. So uh, thank you for checking out this little look at the, the breeder hose adapter and I will see you next time.